Hi guys, just starting another tutorial on how to set up the NXT to work with our toolboxes in MATLAB. Uh, to begin with, these are the, this is the folder you can see uh, has the two toolboxes in them, the RWTH Mindstorms NXT toolbox and uh, Peter's RVC toolbox. Uh, there's a readme file here. This readme file has everything you need to know about setting up the NXT in it. So we'll just go ahead and open that. I'll just start that up, bring this over. Yeah, so over the here, um, from scratch, so this is installing everything, how to install the setting the path in MATLAB. Uh, there's drivers in here, so if you want to do this at home or from your own laptop, uh, the drivers are included. The one thing I will mention though, the 64-bit systems, it's very tricky. You have to do a little bit of hacking to get the NXT to work with the 64-bit system, uh, mainly 64-bit MATLAB. Uh, don't really want to go into that. It's pretty intricate. But uh, for 32-bit, it works perfectly. Just install that driver. Uh, updating firmware on the NXT. So that's what we're up to. Uh, I've got the NXT connected over here, as you can see. Um, Go to turn it on. So go into the RWTH uh, toolbox under tools and in motor control. There's a whole heap of uh, stuff here to uh, get the NXT ready. Uh, there's, t there's two main parts. There's the flash firmware. Um, that basically updates the firmware on the uh, NXT and there's the compile uh, transfer motor control to NXT. That's the important one, that's the goal. We want to get that uh, onto the NXT. That allows us to take control of the motors from MATLAB. So that's it. Uh, the rest of the stuff in here is very important. Don't delete any of it. Some of these programs make everything run for us. So these are just batch files. You double click on them, hang on, we'll just make sure our uh, NXT is turned on. Uh, there we go. Uh, and a batch window comes up, uh, command line. Uh, so, usual stuff, just press enter, it should flash the firmware. Uh, it's as simple as that. Make sure your NXT is connected first. Uh, and your NXT will make a little clicking sound. Uh, I don't think you can hear it on the video, uh, but you might hear it and it'll, yeah, there we go. Might disconnect and connect from your computer a little bit. But that's okay. That's all part of the process. Restarts back up. And it connected again to the computer. So, and that's it. Finished. Simple as that. Press key. Command window closes. Secondly, we want to transfer this, this file here onto the NXT. Uh, oh no, sorry. It's this one here. Same thing. Uh, compile and transfer to NXT. Uh, it should come up like that. If some warnings come up, that means some of the files are missing out of the folder. I'll probably want to re-download this and uh, try installing again, but everything should be set. Uh, press any key to continue. Compiling and downloading. Goes to the robot. Script is finished. Press any t key to continue. Beautiful. Um, lastly, just to check that it's working, show you guys that it's working, uh, we'll go into MATLAB over here. And we'll get, we'll go to the toolbox destination folder. It's on the desktop, and the toolbox. Uh, and there's a demos folder in here. Simple play tone. Uh, open it up, opens up MATLAB over here. This is just a simple little test. Uh, press F5, or it's under, I can't remember how to start it. Um, I've always pressed F5. Yeah, so run example that guy or just press F5. There you go. Uh, makes a noise. Simple as that. It's uh, getting the NXT to talk to MATLAB. Alright, uh, that concludes the tutorial.